Hey, the raised fist is the common symbol of the revolutionary. And what we have here is a different approach altogether. I want to share with you the brand new My my Little Open Hands podcast. Our plan is the opposite. Open hands. Everything's in the open. Let's Let's look at the facts. Let's look at the truth. Let's look at things different than revolution. We're not in for revolution. We're, we need an internal heart change. Now, there's two ultimate stances. Uh, one is to take and the other is to give. God gives life and freedom, and an opposite approach is to take life and freedom away. Our life and liberty, the freedom to think and do, it is God-given. We're made in God's image. And so our rights all flow from that fact. Sadly, people who've abandoned that view have been instrumental in the murder of hundreds of millions these past century or so. And it's unthinkable until recently, but America has descended into this soft totalitarianism. This is with us now. I believe we're already in it. It's only bound to get worse. People are even taking China as the model for how to do civilization in our day. Can you believe it? Big tech, big media, big government, they all they all portray a single narrative. There's one line, and you have to go with that line or you get knocked off. And that's what's going on today. We are really in a totally different space than America has ever been in before. It's not only that they're advancing their one single narrative, but they're suppressing all other ways of thinking. Dissent from the one main narrative can get you fired today very easily. And this kind of approach is now embedded across the West, and it's even increasing. Now, the Open Hands podcast is my attempt to look at how soft totalitarian works, how the underground church in, in times past has survived even under strong totalitarian regimes. We need to know how this works in case uh, government wants to arbitrarily close our churches, maybe to keep us from being together as we worship together. So these things are not theoretical off in the future. These are live and current things. We need to understand how totalitarian manifests itself under these changed conditions of social justice uh, thinking and critical, ra critical thinking and postmodernism, critical race theory. We need to understand what these pieces are because they're part of this broader totalitarian, soft totalitarian thing that has descended on America already and on the West. We need to know how we can carry forward the torch of liberty even as this, this curtain of civilizational doom descends upon us. Now, God wins in the end, so ours is not a negative approach. And yet, realistically, this freight train isn't stopping anytime soon. I'm afraid we're in for a long haul. Many of the things we've known are going to be swept away. But those willing to see realistically will be enabled to continue to have liberty and continue to be men and women of faith if we learn how to do it even under soft totalitarianism. To provide liberty for our families, we must learn quickly what nameless heroes learned behind the Iron Curtain not so many decades ago. Under the radioactive glow of a new fascism, we must be willing to suffer to be free. I want to invite you to uh, subscribe to the Open Hands podcast. We're going to try to do it about twice a week if we're able. And we're going to go through thousands and thousands of pages. We're going to condense that down to the key pieces some of the key writings and things we would need to help us understand. God has given us equipment in the Bible and in other historical sources. We can know what we need to know to get through these crazy times, and we're going to try to do it together. Let me invite you, come over to my channel, subscribestar.com slash Larry the Guy from Michigan. That's the URL. And come and subscribe to the podcast. Come and try us out. You do have to subscribe to get the podcast because I guess that's why they call it Subscribestar. But come along. We're going to build a little community over there. Just want you on board. A lot of people aren't talking about these things. They're just being uh, overwashed in the culture. They don't know what's going on. Let you and I be aware and alert and wise, and we'll be better for it. God will be our protector and our helper. Come on over to the Open Hands podcast.